Hello everyone. Welcome to my sample series where I showcase games for the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X running at either 4K or HDR or both. And today that's going to be the case with Bloodstain Ritual of the Night on the Xbox One X. Today I'm going to showcase this game um, in 4K HDR and it's at 60 frames a second. I'm going to start a new game here for you all, so I can show you the intro to it. One of these over you. That's fine. It's played normal. Now this is a game that came out earlier this year, very much based on I guess the same mold you'd get uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night from. I guess that's a lousy way of explaining it. This is very much a Metroidvania style game made by the same people who were responsible, some of them at least responsible, for making Symphony of the Night back in the day. That's 1783年、彼らは全て死んだと思われていたシャードリンカーであったが、それから10年の月日が流れ、人々が全てを忘れ去った頃。また再び悪魔が城と共に現れる。時を同じくして眠りから目覚めたミリアン。Thus is the intro. Uh, just to let you know, this game, um, this video may take a day or two before it is actually fully resolved to 4K and HDR. So if it's not yet showing at that resolution, uh, just give it a couple, just give it a day or so. It will. Uh, I am gonna have to limit it under to under a half an hour make sure that it does that because for some reason YouTube doesn't like um, my videos when they're over a half an hour. ねえ、ヨハネス。本当にジーベルが悪魔を。それは間違いないミリアム。やっぱり信じられない。だって私が今生きているのはジーベルのおかげなのよ。君の信じたい気持ちもわかる。だけど確かな情報なんだ。そして10年前の事件。彼を変えるには十分すぎた。本当にすまない。僕の仲間たちが君たちにしたことは許されることじゃないんだ。あなたが謝る必要はないわ。ヨハネスはいつも私たちを守ってくれてたもの。だけど。
シャードの実験のためにたくさん戦闘訓練も積んでるし私ところでどうして私は10年も眠っていたのそれが僕にもわからないんだ分かっているのは時間を止めるような特別な術式の魔法だったことそれと力の減衰を観測することでちょうど10年で目覚めるだろうと予測できたことぐらいだそうそろそろ目的地に着きそうだ準備をしておいたそこの箱に必要な装備を入れておいたまずはそれを取って All、right. We are controlling the room. Like I said, I am recording this at 4K、um, 60 frames a second and with HDR enabled. I have it set to a、um, record rate of about 40 megs a second. We're going to equip our new stuff here. So we did it. So we did it. So we did it. ここは私に任せて今のはシャードか久しぶりの感覚だけど悪魔の力を得君の体に埋め込まれている結晶それはシャープその力は強大だけど少しずつ生身の体を侵食していくでも今はヨハネスが発見した術式で確かにそうだけど外部からシャードを大量に取り入れてだ,だとしても今の私にはこの力が必要だわそれに自分の体のことは自分が一番それにピンチの時はいつもヨハネスが助けてくれるじゃない都合のいい頼り方だでも信頼すただ無理だけはしないでくれ。こんなところにも悪魔が城からの悪魔が大量に侵入しているのかいい準備運動ね。ちょっと船の掃除をして。All right. Obviously, you want to break all the lamps because they usually hide and have something in them. I'm just going to spend some time、uh, going through the、uh, early sections of this game for about half an hour. As the first video that I'll be uploading today. In the second video, I'll do about half an hour of me exploring the castle in my nearly clear safe、um, slot of this game, set just before the final boss. これは魔力に反応する魔道具ね The items you get actually affect her appearance. Only some of them do.
you go. Got rid of that guy. I did, for the record, play through this game earlier this year, around the time it came out. And I have a daily long play um, uh, stream of it that I did, which is in a playlist on my channel, if you want to take a look at a full playthrough of it. Not a 100% playthrough, mind you, but... Got these books you can occasionally read. Sometimes have stuff in there. Hey look, five gold. I'll take that. Ship's taking on water down here a little bit. Save point. Also gives me, restores my health and my mana. Got bronze and sugar. That's crafting material. have all that much to say about this game. It's, um, it's a game that I um, was interested in, but I didn't really have all that much knowledge of going in. I'd never really played it. 
I never really played Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Although I do actually have two copies of it now. Uh, one copy that I might feature in a future daily long play stream for the PlayStation 4, part of the Castlevania Requiem Pack. And I also got the 360 version of it as part of the Games of Gold thing, the deal. I got preferred to play the PS4 version because it's going to be in 4K. Not my PS4 Pro, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, that's me falling off there. This is not quite a Medusa head level of annoying, but still, it is pretty annoying. Big ugly thing there. Hope to fight that thing before the end of this video. Claymore here. That's a little bit too slow for my taste. I prefer the short sword. I don't really have to be saving this. It's just sort of force of habit. I don't really like the way it looks. Same type, the, the better your attack, the better its uh, potency becomes. I think those things will keep spawning infinitely there. And that is the door to a boss. I think we got a potion there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and this save room. I'm glad it was. So 
showing the boss, as well as a cutscene. ようやくお目覚めかお姫様。ジーベル。やっぱりあなたなの。どう。どうして。人間たちが俺たちにしたことを考えれば分かるだろう。10年前の出来事ならヨハネスから聞いた。確かにそれは許されることではないわ。でも
There is not. I think I'll try that one more time before I call it a video here. Thankfully it puts me right back there. And it gives me my potions back as well. Let's try something a little different. It seems to do more damage because it's faster. Well, I think I'm going to call it a video there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate when people take time out of their day to watch my videos and my streams and such. I will be posting a second video today of, uh, let's say, some endgame content. Not the final boss, just more exploring the castle. And yeah, I hope to see you back here when I get that video posted. And until then, take it easy. <laughs>